Next tonight, crisis at Christ the King Seminary. One of its recent graduates is now under investigation by the diocese for sexual misconduct. This all comes as two former priests protested today in support of seminarians who blew the whistle last month about inappropriate conversations by priests. And now the seminary's president is also breaking his silence, telling a different story tonight to I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht. This place is floundering. It is an albatross. Christ the King Seminary is an albatross around the neck of this diocese. With its president, Father Joe Gatto, already suspended for sexual misconduct, the latest controversy surrounding the Diocese of Buffalo Seminary involve a pornographic priest party hosted by diocesan priests, a young seminarian charged with driving drunk, and now the 7 Eyewitness News I-Team has discovered that Cheektowaga pastor Jeffrey Nowak is under investigation for alleged sexual advances against a priest and two seminarians. It's a culture of immaturity, of almost juvenile, uh, stuck, stuck in juvenile behavior. That's what led Bob Hotson and Jim Faluzek, both former priests, to come to East Aurora to support the five seminarians who blew the whistle on, quote, highly inappropriate and vulgar conversation among three suspended priests. This strikes us as a form of harassment of, of whistleblowers. We're here today to support them, to say, keep going. Whistleblowers are heroes. But seminary rector Father John Stack disputed the accounts of multiple sources who say Michael Sherry, a former Orchard Park police chief who now serves as academic dean of the seminary, called in the whistleblowing seminarians for multiple interrogations to find out who leaked documents to 7 Eyewitness News. Now how things got distorted, I have no idea, but there was no leak investigation. So they voluntarily came in. There was no interrogation thing going on. Hotson wasn't buying it. You don't, you don't have a, a, a police officer as your academic dean and then have him be the one to interview people because he's got the police interview techniques down. Earlier, the diocese acknowledged the new allegations against Nowak of Our Lady Help of Christians in Cheektowaga. Spokeswoman Kathy Spangler said in a statement, a preliminary inquiry has been initiated concerning allegations of inappropriate behavior slash unwanted contact. The allegations are outlined in documents that surfaced after the Hamburg Priest Party, where allegations were made that Nowak made unwanted advances against two current seminarians and one current priest. Nowak isn't talking, but Stack says the seminary will get through the crisis. People out there who are saying, geez, you know, why don't we just close this place with all the stuff that's happening there and in the diocese? What do you say to them? I'd say this is the real sign of hope for every place. This is where the change will happen, and you're already seeing that happen now. So there's a corner that's being turned. It's not fully turned, but it's, it's happening, and these are good guys. You don't want to close it just because there have been a few incidents. That's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You don't want to do that. Now, Sherry maintains that he had no part in any leak investigation at the seminary. Meanwhile, Father Nowak did not respond to two messages left for comment on the recent allegations against him. And the bishop's spokeswoman, Kathy Spangler, refused to say why Nowak appears to be getting special treatment by his ability to remain at his parish while other priests who are under investigation have been suspended while the, those investigations take place. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.